I'd like to introduce you to modeling chocolate. It's a medium that a lot of people use in cake decorating these days, and it's really super simple to make, uh, so you don't have to search high and low to find it. Really easy recipe. If you'll take just one pound of chocolate, any color, and add a half a cup of corn syrup, which weighs 5.65 ounces, and you'll melt your chocolate, you stir your corn syrup in, you're good to go. Two ingredients, really, really easy. And I'm gonna show you how to put that together here in just a second, but first I wanna to talk to you about if you have an odd amount of chocolate. Let's say you have some red chocolate left over from um, Christmas and you wanna use it up. Let's say it's an odd amount like 0.67 pounds or 0.32 pounds, some odd number like that. You don't have to do the math so much on half cup, quarter cup, eighth of a cup, that sort of thing that's difficult to figure out how much corn syrup you need. Basically what you're gonna do is you're going to take the amount of chocolate you have. So let's say just for round numbers to make it easy, you have a half a pound, which is 0.5 pounds of chocolate left. Again, any color. You can take that multiplier and multiply it times the 5.65 ounces that we know we normally need in the recipe. So you'll take your 0.5 times 5.65 ounces and you're gonna end up with how much clear corn syrup you need, which is here, 2.8 ounces. So just mix that together. You can use any amount of chocolate you need and you can always have the recipe work just as well. So here we're gonna put the actual basic recipe of modeling chocolate together. Let me show you how easy it is. The first thing you wanna do is weigh out your corn syrup instead of measuring it in a measuring cup. It's gonna make the math a lot easier as I showed you before. So I suggest that any cake decorator invest in a good digital scale, have pound and ounce options. If you're overseas, you might want grams as well. So you'll notice when I turn it on, that it's gonna automatically go to zero. If you'll notice when I put my container on there, the weight increases. So I want to make sure I go back to zero by pushing the tear button. All right, now I'm gonna push whatever container I have, I'm gonna put it with a little bit of pan spray, just so that the corn syrup doesn't stick so much. Now, if you'll watch the scale here, I'm gonna to go to 5.65 ounces, because I know from Kathy's recipe that that's exactly half a cup. And with it being a fraction of an ounce, that if you go a little bit over or under, it's probably not gonna matter so much. Just get as close to 5.65 as you can. All right. Perfect. All right, so we've got our corn syrup. Now we're gonna go over here. And as I mentioned before in the recipe, it's one pound of chocolate. And you can use any color. I've got a nice light chocolate here, milk chocolate. So I've melted this over a water bath, so it's just nice and, nice and smooth. And all I'm gonna do is pour the corn syrup in there, get all of it out with my spatula, and I'm just gonna stir it together. You're gonna to notice that it's gonna to start to kind of seize up, like if you've ever dropped water into chocolate by accident. That's kind of the effect it's taking, but we want it to do that here. So just stirring it thoroughly, see how firm it's starting to get? It's exactly what we want. Look at that, it's gonna form a nice ball. Now, as soon as we have this fully incorporated, we're gonna turn it out onto some parchment paper and just let it come back to room temperature and then it's gonna be ready to model. All right, there we go. See how that's coming away from the side, sides of the pans nicely? All right, so all you're gonna do once that's incorporated is pour it out onto your parchment and let it cool off. Now all you have to do, once it's cooled off, you can wrap it up in plastic wrap and keep it forever. But once it's come back to room temperature, it's gonna be really nice and easy to model. So that's the basic recipe for modeling chocolate. You see how super easy it is to make. Don't forget, you can use up older chocolate that maybe some of the cocoa butters come to the surface and it's bloomed. It's not wasted, you don't have to throw it away. Any chocolate that doesn't melt as well, maybe it's been exposed to temperature differences, you can absolutely turn that into modeling chocolate and model it into figures, cover cakes with it, do all kinds of fun things with it. So, modeling chocolate, cake decorator's friend, have a good time with it.